Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is my buddy Banjo. And of course that means this is another episode of a Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Of course that's about products from Kiwi Crate and their Tinker Crate line. Banjo, why don't you go ahead and grab the box down there. And uh, we got another one in. Now, what is this one again? Um, it's a uh, glowing pendulum. A glowing pendulum, okay. I'm not really sure exactly what that is, as you can see it. It's on the box right there. And, um, you know, well, why don't we go ahead and just open it up and kind of see what it is and what, uh, what they really uh, have in store for us. All right, everybody. Well, here we go. Um, it looks like there's just a s small assortment of packages here this time instead of uh, quite a bigger package like last time. There was a lot of different parts. Um, so, of course, we'll start with the Tinker Zine here. And uh, as you open up the Tinker Zine, it talks about uh, some different things. Like, for example, the butterfly effect. Uh, of course, there's a movie by that title. Um, and it, it deals in something called chaos theory. Uh, and chaos theory is just kind of the idea of if something happens over here. Can it or does it affect something that happens way over here, you know, on the other side of the planet or whatever. Um, so it's very uh, interesting, very thought-provoking kind of thing. So it's definitely something um, that involves a lot of thinking and conceptualization behind it. Um, of course, the Tinker Zine here does have uh, some various ideas, and there are some additional things here towards the back that kind of give you simple experimentation as to uh, what you can uh, try beyond just this um, glowing pendulum. Uh, now, we'll go ahead with uh, this piece here. We've got a few pieces. Uh, now, these are the laser-cut um, laminated wood pieces. We've got uh, a longer piece and then some shorter ones here. Uh, looks like they're probably going to be something to do with the, uh, the pendulum mechanism and everything. Maybe how it swings and maybe you can adjust it or something. Uh, we'll go ahead and find that out here in a minute. Um, then we've got some uh, some supplies here. There is a basically a popsicle stick. Uh, there's a couple of uh, they look like ear cleaners. Um, I'm thinking this almost looks like it is a small roll of almost electrical tape. Uh, we've got some crystals here, citric acid crystals. Uh, so uh, we'll find out what that's going to be used for. I didn't realize that maybe maybe it has something to do with the glowing in the dark part. Uh, we'll find out here in, in a little bit once we get to building. Um, then we've got the, uh, the usual sticky uh, double-sided or single-sided maybe sticky tape or, or uh, uh, little patches. Looks like they've got some round patches there. Looks like there's a little watch battery, which it's actually encased so that you have two wires uh, to, to use to plug in and uh, power this system. Uh, what's that, Bell? Banjo? Some mechanism pieces with bearings in it so that they can move. Okay. Well, is one of them a, is one a motor then? No. This is the bearing. Oh, it's a bearing? Yeah. On that? Okay. Well, I thought it would be a motor or something because so like, of the battery. probably stick to it and then you'd have the arms and that would swing. Oh, you know what? Maybe they're using electromagnetism to do this if they're using a uh, battery. I don't know. They might be. Because if there's a battery, I would think there's some kind of thing that the battery's being used for. Yeah, the LED. Oh, I yeah, didn't even see the LEDs. Okay, well there, I missed that. There's the LEDs there. The arms swing back and forth and the LED like glows on the paper. So it's random motion. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Well, you obviously have seen something like this before. I haven't. Um, and then... This yeah. is... I'm guessing that's the contraption that they give you to... Okay, it's all folded up and it's like cardboard. Like, yeah. yeah, it's just a piece of cardboard. Okay, um, got some places here to do the stickies and stuff and folding it all up. There's um, some stuff on the back here. Looks like you've got a grid and everything. And this so, this is the stuff that glows if you can feel it. It's like okay. Oh, oh it's yeah. Rough. Yeah, it's it's textured. This stuff is textured, so it's probably glow in the dark material. Um, all right. So, oh, I have an idea. I think I understand this now. The LED shining directly on this yeah, creates bright UV, spots. They're UV LEDs. Oh, okay. 
Okay. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll see a little bit more about it. Uh, Banjo's kind of enlightening me on this one. I didn't really uh, know, and I have I haven't seen stuff like this before. I guess Banjo has, uh, of course, been to other channels on YouTube and has seen something like this. That's what happens uh, when you watch a lot of YouTube. Ah, uh, okay. Well, well, you do you do learn a lot of things from there, and uh, hopefully people can learn a little bit from this. Uh, now, of course, we do have the blueprints, and as he was showing, that's kind of the picture of what it looks like there. Um, we've got uh, another thing here. Uh, it shows almost looks like a maze or something like that. Is uh, is kind of drawn on the on the uh, on the paper or the glow and dark section there. That's cool. It has the things on the edges, so you pull one to make it go one way and pull the other. And you have oh, to pull okay. them to go through the maze. Oh, okay, okay. That's interesting. And you make it with that tape that was in here. Oh, okay, so that's taping it off so that it gives you that effect. And then, of course, we've got the actual overall instructions on how to do at least the pendulum part. So um, this piece here is probably is more of like an extra or uh, an additional thing beyond the pendulum that you can actually do with the kit. Uh, so just like usual, they usually have more than one way to set these things up or maybe even more than one thing that kind of goes together. So let's go ahead and check it out and uh, get it put together and... We'll go ahead and show you guys some stuff as we're going, as well as uh, you'll see the finished product and how it works. All right, guys, we kind of cut down the um, the lighting a little bit. Of course, it got a little bit darker. Uh, Banjo made the idea you wanted to kind of have me show you. As you can see, see how there's kind of that yellow, green-looking tracer line wherever this is touching. So if we shine it and then gone, you can kind of see it fade away and everything and so that's what where the pendulum as it's going to move across here uh, it will show you where it's moved and everything so there's kind of the idea behind that all right guys well here we go banjo's got it started and you can see that that's looking really great uh, here I think on camera you should yeah, it really is you well they talk about chaos theory I mean that's exactly what it looks like um, you know, you can see it flipping around and making all those colors and everything. Uh, or, well, the green, I guess, really is what it is. But all the shapes and it's just, there's no, there's no rhyme nor reason to the way that it's doing it. Sometimes it's just a simple arc and sometimes it's flipping around there. Uh, and, of course, that's because of the different weights on there and the way that the pendulum swings and everything. And uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty neat. That's wild. You got some neat little art forms that are showing up there. It's uh, sitting there pretty cool. Um, definitely kind of a neat thing. Pretty quick to build. Uh, you know, not a whole lot to it. You follow the instructions. And the instructions are pretty simple on this one. Not a lot of steps. Just laying out a couple of pieces together. You put the, uh, the bearing sets there together. And uh, then just plugging the light in with the battery and stuff. Now, of course, this doesn't have a switch um, that turns the light on and off. Uh, so, of course, you'll have to unhook that when you're done playing with it, but uh, it is pretty cool. Now, for this uh, for this other section, you see we have a couple pieces left over. There is the, the black tape and some of this other stuff here. Um, of course, there is the, uh, the um, way that uh, Banjo was showing we were, and we saw earlier with the uh, maze there, and, uh, of course that will uh that will of course be adjusted uh according to um the way that the other section of instructions are where you just un unscrew some of these pieces and uh put it together in a different pattern and it's called a maze race is what they say and you can try and move the you strings the yeah on either side and you take and move it up and down and across using that to get it to go through the maze and of course the maze is based off of this uh, black tape here so uh, pretty cool there um, and then also uh, they do say that you can do this uh, on an angle and you can also change the arm lengths because uh, of course this one is just a shorter version of this long arm right here uh, so that of course will make it uh, different it won't be clear down here it'll be up a little higher which will of course make it move and change directions a little bit and then if you were to take this because this is 
on an angle right here you can take and flip it down and have it more kind of flat instead of vertical and it will still spin around and do stuff it'll just do it a lot slower um, and uh, you'll be able to see some different stuff there you go Banjo is going to try that out and uh, won't be quite as all that oh yeah it was making little hearts uh, this is basically just like those um, those rides at an amusement park or something where a couple of you are together and you sit inside the little thing and twist the uh, twist the handle around or even just hang on and it it goes around the big circle but then your little thing spins in a circle too it works on the same premise and uh, pretty pretty neat um, but uh, yeah like I said you can of course change it change the length on it um, with these different pieces here you can uh, do the maze race here and uh, uh, try that one out and see if you want to play with that and try and see if you can do the maze who can do it faster or whatever and and you know that's a uh, another option right there you know I think I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for us today guys my name is Cougar this is of course Banjo and uh, you know this is another episode of a Kiwi's Tinker Crate if uh, you guys want to check out uh, the Tinker Crate line or any of Kiwi Crate's line of stuff, there is going to be a link down there in the description below, as well as links to our social media platforms. And of course, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There'll be a little link floating around. It'll be over in the corner that way. And uh, if you don't see that one, go ahead down below the video and there is that subscribe button there and next to it that uh, bell icon. Go ahead and hit that and set it up so that you're notified of when we have new videos coming out here on World of Me. And, uh, you know, get some more ideas for these Tinker Crates uh, or, or any of the other stuff we've got going on. So, uh, well, Banjo... Uh, you're going to be playing with this one for a while, so I'm going to say, uh, everybody, you have a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!